morning, 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 morning. Yeah, man, I'm checking back in with you guys. It's actually afternoon, because I slept out most of the morning. You all see we had so much fun. After the village, we went down to, um, uh, I forget the name of the club, but it's a club down by Pueblo and Sub Base. It was pretty packed, but we were kind of tired. So our first night, we've been traveling for like two days, because we drove to Orlando and then flew out to St. Thomas. But I got up this morning, had to get my workout in, so I went to Muscle Fitness Center behind me. About to go back home, pick up the big bro, and see what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. What's up, man? I never come here for no stand up, no stand up, no stand up. I come to party with my hand up, my hand up, my hand up. Every entry. Set on the hard stage, set on the stage, set on the hard stage, set on the stage. Y'all saw me earlier when I just finished my workout. So pretty much I just went back to the house. My brother was out cold. We pretty much been traveling the whole time. So we needed to recoup and charge our batteries. So yeah, you all see behind me tea restaurant. You all saw this in my last video. We came here, they got mad options for food. It's pretty inexpensive. It's local, it's locally made. So we had to stop there and get some food real quick before we hit the streets again, see what's going on. There's also food in the village. But we probably gonna eat there tonight, so we want to spread it around. But like I said, it's one of our favorite spots. So let's go inside, grab something to eat, and see what's happening for the rest of the time, all right? All right, so it was kind of crowded in there. So I didn't really do much filming of the food. We just got in and got out. But we in the car right now. The big boy can't wait to dig into his plate. So that's what we about to do right now. And then we about to go, like I say, one of those errands for moms, and then see what else gonna pop for the rest of the night. Um, I'm gonna try to take you guys along a little drive along with us. So come on, let's go check that out. And yeah, St. Thomas Carnival. It's what you do on the off days, earlier during the week when it's only the events at night. I'm pretty sure there was some stuff popping off today though, but I don't really got the contacts yet. So we're trying to get that worked out because I want to take you guys everything that's popping. Oh yeah, his food's out. Let's check it out. How is it? It's good. Stew pork. Well, you just loving your belly on this trip, eh? Mm-hmm. My belly loving them back. Mm -hmm. And me, I just got some kingfish and french fries. It was like a childhood delight for me. It used to be chicken and chips back then, but I don't eat chicken no more. Like So I know they got all this good food, but this right here is something I don't really eat in the States. So I take full advantage of it when I come here. finished eating that food y'all saw it man that food was so good now we stuck in traffic we heading up to um kmart yeah we still have kmart's down here in the virgin islands picked up the package in the back for my mom that's what she needed us to do so we just running around grabbing gotta grab something my brother trying to buy something for juve because he ain't trying to mess up on his good clothes he bring in check but let's go see me on these streets so go back to giving you guys a driving view the car early I picked my mom up we ran some errands um, I was too busy just talking with them so I didn't really film it and I know I told you guys that um we were going back to the village but I forgot it's the preteen tramp so it's like a mini little juve up the main street 
for the teenagers. They have the steel pants starting it off, and they usually got a few bands on the street. It's a way of giving the teenagers a chance to tramp and celebrate the carnival, because that's really what the carnival is all about. Everybody freeing up themselves, getting out in the streets and just partying amongst each other. So I guess they figured why not let the teenagers get a chance where they can have their own environment. The music is not as vulgar and it seems not as crazy. So that's what we're walking up to right now on the main street. So come on up, let's go. I told you guys I'm gonna try to give you every bit of the carnival I can. I know the first two days I usually get settled in. So it's taking a while for me to really just get going, but the more we go, the more y'all get. So come on, let's go up to the main street and see the steel pan. Y'all can probably hear them in the distance right now. Pre-game, tonight we gotta take our shots and head out. All right, Saint Thomas Carnival. Put hair on your chest. We outside, say, we outside. Yeah, we outside. Come on, Archie, let me go, let me go, let me go. Yo, where you find it? I can't find nobody. Where Everybody that's listening and watching on social media right now. That's for sure. Huge shout out to MDM that's being able to stream the live stream. That's for everybody that's watching that's not able to make it. As well as via. For the Wi Fi. Big up to the Wi Fi. Big up Maya. everybody that's watching on social media yeah. right now. It's the time of the morning. How we ready? Hey, hey. Tell me to talk to the people of Noma. If you're ready for some awesome jump, let me hear you make some noise. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. sir. I love that energy. Yes, sir. Without further ado, ladies wait, and gentlemen. Wait. Again, we want to make up Marshall and that marvelous show he did last night. You understand? 
and he promised he's coming back. So big up to the division of festivals to raise up my boy Joe, he's a hey. every time. It's that time of the morning. Papa Kelly, musical arena, are we ready? Ready, I know cooking fine, ready. Let's yeah. sing. Bravo, let's get it, take going. What's up guys, the night is done. We're about to walk back to the car. We'll probably try to see if any clubs are popping. I try to show you guys as much of the festivities in the village as much. All the bands. We saw a cool session from St. John. We saw a jam band. We saw DJ Super Tech. But um, yeah, right now the village is done. They still play some music in the back, but we're trying to leave so we can beat the traffic. So um, right now we're in Niski Center. My brother's trying to use the ATM to get some cash. We try, about to try to go to Crush Nightclub. It seems to be the after party around these areas for the last few days after the village. Tomorrow, they're supposed to be at um, Evolutions Bar and Grill, which is right there on um, Main Street. But um, yeah, the crowd's out there. The line's already lining up. It's a lot of people out there. This guy right here, I don't know if he needs to keep going or take it down because he'll but I'm being a little big bro tonight, taking care of him. Look at him over there. Tell me if this stance look normal. You all right? All right, big man, take me down to the club, big man. Can we go to the club? You sure you ready? You hey, young Chinese set up. Money make up. This step I make, girl, pussy wet. I'm in a light like a feather. Watch your mouth, Tina Miller. Don't make me happy. Don't bust up your little Miller. Hey, boy, give me the beat. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all hear it in the background. Sounds of the island. So I think this is day three. Last night it was like a local night. They had um, a dedication to Pupa Kelly. He's a legendary jam band member. And they had jam band, legendary band on the island finish. Um, closed off the village last night. We did a little bit of drive around, went down to the um, club crush down the sub base. We didn't really go inside because by that time of the night, <laughs> one of us is charged and we're just ready to take it down. And I really wanted to get up and get another workout in again today. So I tried to limit myself. So when he was ready to take it down, I just took it down too. So I'm about to touch the road, go to the gym. Link up with one of my, um, my my best friends, Victor. Y'all met him in the last vlog. And then get ready for the food fair. Today's food fair day. It's when all the vendors come out, different food, different local drinks. Pretty much anything you got to sell is when they come out and they um, sell it today. So that's what we're going to see today. Try to get you guys some good Avino shots. Walk through, maybe meet a few of the vendors. Right now it's time to get a workout on, all right? King Body Fitness. Become the king you was born to be. Let's get this workout into the guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So we back and we um, I went to the gym. I linked up with my boy Victor and trying to get my brother up. Man, this dude, man, we had such a night last night. Even though the village wasn't as lit as it was with Marshall, we had a good night. You know, we had a lot of room. We were able to walk around. We checked out a few of the different boots to see which one had the best option of drinks. And yeah, um, we didn't make it to Crush. We went down there, checked out the scene. I think I caught some of that footage. It was pretty lit down there. 
Um, the line was long, but it was moving pretty fast. Everybody was trying to get in, but it definitely seemed like that was the after hours spot. Um, there's a few spots tonight. I think one of them is right here on Main Street. That's um, said to be the after hour spots for the village. And we're gonna try to check those out. But right now we're stuck in traffic. Trying to find parking, pick my mom up and head up to the food fair. Um, it started earlier this morning. A lot of people went up earlier, got their food and stuff like that. We already got some stuff kind of reserved that we could go and pick up. So we're gonna try to do that, try to see if we can walk on and catch a few more. So even though we late, we ain't that late. Usually flying on this day, which is the Wednesday. So if you're planning to come for vacation in St. Thomas for carnival, and you only got a few days, maybe got a long weekend, most people usually flying the Wednesday of food fair. You want to probably book the earliest flight. So you probably get here around like 11, 12, and then you head up to the food fair. You grab some food, and then you just take in the island. There's a lot going on. They got steel plant, they usually got market jumbies and different things like that. And then you grab your local foods and you do your thing. So, and then you have the juve on the Thursday, and then the Friday is the children parade, Saturday the adults parade, which is pretty much the main event of the whole carnival. And then Sunday is usually all the beach parties for just the individuals or the different troops we have in their um, beach parties as well. So let's go to the food fair, man. Let's see what's going on. We're stuck in traffic right here at the brink of the main street. And I really can't tell you what's going on, but it's All right, guys, so we finally found parking, man. It was so hard finding parking out here. But that's also what happened when you come out here a little bit later than you should. You know what I mean? It probably would have been easier to park at our house, honestly, and just walk. You know, a lot of people forget that in St. Thomas, if you just park on water places, you know, it's hot, but I mean, especially if you walk on the waterfront, you get that cool breeze. But um, yeah, we about to walk up here to the food fair and see what we find, man, because... Okay. So where you get them from? I don't remember the number. I know the place, but I don't remember the number of it. Oh, do you know how to get there? Hi, guys. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Hi. You didn't meet this one. He didn't know These are the uh, flavors that I made. It's a natural uh, ingredients with the flavors. I don't put artificial colors or flavors. So I could custom make it if you do have a need of dairy free or no rum. So I will definitely customize it for you. So I make it year round. Very important. Oh, okay. That's good. No waiting for Christmas. So something I got it. What I do is that, like, when it's guava time, I get it, I process it, I freeze it. So that way I can have guava any time of the year. Food, tamarind, passion fruit, any That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. I'll sample the one with rum. You want to try the guava? Awesome. And you can try any other flavor there. Nice how we press it.
Jews. One love. extra one to eat because this one I'm gonna make it home. She was like, oh, you should have told me when you call on the phone, tell me you come and come pick it up because by the time you got here, they were all gone. So. Yeah. 
Done. I went home, passed out. I was talking to her, to wifey, and she was like, "Boy, you call me to talk, just to snore on the phone with me." But um, yeah. So right now we got the children parade starting tomorrow. So my mom been holding down the same location for like over 10 years. It's right in front of the judges' booth. So to me, it's one of the best locations on the island because it's where all the troops do their performances, all the routines they've been working on all year round. This is one of the areas that they actually stop and do it. One to actually count, it is the one where they're being judged for the truth and where they pick the road marks. So um, yeah, we just brought the chairs up. My mom usually come up a little bit earlier, mark off the lines, and then they give you a certain time of day where you come and you put down all the chairs and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what we're about to do now. To walk me up out my sleep, because you need help. But you know, I never refuse to help my mom out, so. That's what we're doing, so come on, let's go get set up for this children's play tomorrow.
know what I like about my music? I display the authenticity in VI music. The real VI style music. And I take VI style music all around the world. And it has to be the Virgin Islands people around the world. Thank you guys for representing for VI music. You guys look beautiful. You guys look so beautiful. You guys don't have no idea how beautiful this is. Put your light on up. Faster, faster, faster. You'll see it in the lineup tonight. We have Monet, my cousin, Adam O, and Pumper. You know, tonight was local night, local talent night. We got up a little bit late because we had to recoup from the Juve. I had to come help mom put the tent up. Y'all saw that earlier. We are here sitting, so this is where we're going to be on the parade route. Like I said, it's the best spot. This is the judges' boots right over here. These are all the dignitary boots, and we're right across the street from them. So right here, you get to see all the performances. They work months out on these routines, and this is where they get to see them. Most of the rest of the route, they just tramping, coming up, walking, dancing, trying to get ready for when they get up to the end. And then when they get here, this is when they do everything. So we get to see it all, which means you get to see it all. I'm so sorry that I lost my voice, guys. I'm probably gonna do a talk over most of this, the voiceover. But um, yeah, we were taking the parents home. We was in the village earlier. And um, I can check back in with you guys as soon as I can. Yeah, I know you guys can see why it's wearing on me. But I'm still going, all right? St. Thomas Carnival 2023.